Hello, my lovely Virgo. How are you, loves? I hope everyone is doing well. Virgo, I welcome you to the first week in June. Sun, Moon, Rising Signs and Venus. This week we have Mercury that goes direct. No more retrograde. And yes, Mercury is your planet. Is the planet of communication. So a lot of restoring around as well. Do not forget we have Saturn that goes retrograde for a few months and the Saturn will be retrograde in the zodiac of Aquarius. So yeah, a lot of things are changing and shifting. Proceed with cautious care. Let's see loves how this week is blessing you and what are those messages we need to pay attention to and of course what are those advices from the universe and the spirit guides whatever in the world you are Virgo either you're always here either you're just coming in welcome into new with these energies you might get an answer to your questions that's a loss. Underneath, as overarching energy, we have Ace of Swords, Clarity. For some of you, you are getting clarity regards the situation. For others of you, you are trying to speak to someone about something. Getting out the truth, loves. Eight of Swords, Temperance, and the Devil. Taking your time feels like you can't but I feel here giving it time you will there is a situation here a Virgo is thinking quite a lot so let's see loves temperance very much speaks about the sa Sag Capricorn so whatever here, communication with whomever you want to, you most likely will receive that, but might not be this week. For some of you, yes, will be here as we speak right now. But I see here between full moon in Sag and full moon in Capricorn, which full moon in Sagittarius we have next week on the 14th and full moon in Capricorn we have next month. So here you are in the Five of Pentacles. There's something here you need to do, but you might not want to. The Emperor. King of Wands. There's a decision here you want to take or do. It's like you either you you have a hard time to do it or you don't want to do it. But you know you need to. The high priest is very much speaks of you know. You know. Clarifying the five of pentacles. Judgment. And the judgment, this is an aha moment. Yes, I know. I know what I need to do. But I'm still resisting it. Judgment. Nine of Wands. And Eight of Pentacles. It's kind of like we need to learn a different way. Another thing here, there's something here to be put in effort into. The Two of Swords. Clarifier, Seven of Pentacles. You might want it now, but you might take some time or you might wait a little longer. Three of Pentacles. And Ten of Wands. So it feels like a dilemma for some of you, whatever you want to go, whatever you want to do. And also feels like I want to, I know this is right, but I'm not sure if I can do it. Should I wait a little longer? 
So it feels like at the crossroads, whatever you're going to do, loves. Eight of Swords, Clarifier, Ten of Cups. I can't be happy or I can't do me. And one more card. Ten of... It's like completion. Somebody here doesn't feel complete. Regard the situation. But I feel here this this is an internal struggle for some of you, Virgos. We have all the tens, including the ten of wands. The next ten is the major arcana of Wheel of Fortune, which very much speaks that yes, we arrive at the ten. The ten it's history. A new beginning is about to start. So whatever here you've been struggling to leave behind or have a hard time or you don't know, you know that's to be left behind. Because I feel here there's an energy like you can't or you say that. But the, the real thing is your life is changing. There's a new way to learn new things. Either you accept it or not. Either you are ready or not. The Ten of Wands, Two of Cups. Because there is something new coming up. Because the universe gives you that. It's kind of your internal voice. Your intuition tells you, leave that behind. Your ego tells you, uh-uh. And that's this craziness around. Whew, Virgo. Let's see here, what's the best advice for you to get out from the situation or how to proceed forward? with whatever situation you are into. For the fact is, with the temperance here, it speaks very strongly that if you want to live the life you want, do you. And listen to your inner voice, not your ego. Because I feel here the crossroads is more like listening your ego or your inner voice. Because this is all about you. The advice. Hangman. Start seeing the things from a different perspective. You are not stuck. And you don't need to do extra. Whatever you don't need to. Because the universe offers you a new opportunity. A new beginning. And sticking too much for whatever was in the past. Is not your option. Knight of Cups. The offer is on the table and feels a quite great stable one. But I feel here for some of you still going through some healing because the hurt is quite greatly here. But Queen of Cups very much speaks about allowing this. Nurture yourself Allow yourself to open up for the new. Because I feel here to take action towards something new feels quite heavy or quite hard. Queen of Cups speaks about sometimes we can't take action, but we need to allow whatever it's given to us. So, yeah, loves, a new beginning, a whole new beginning. And yes, after whatever was very heavy, chariot. That's the last card. Be 
because the movement is happening. And was that by from the oracle? Was that advice from the oracle? The rainbow of blessings. You look at here, loves. The blessings are showering your life. It's quite impossible to see this. Choosing your path. Either you blame, either you let go. All is possible. You are the one to choose. Healing energy flows through you. And discovering truth. You stand in the light of truth. Because you know what's right and what is not. And a walk in the beauty. The universe could wander you for whatever and what is possible. And a wandering path very much speaks about enjoy the journey. Every minute, every moment counts. Enjoy it. Even sometimes it's hard, but without rain, the, fl the flowers will not grow. Blessings, Virgo. I hope this helped you to go through these energies and bring you some light in the situation you need to. And if that's, let me know. Otherwise, of course, if you didn't subscribe, please do. And otherwise, I wish you a beautiful, awesome week ahead. And I will see you next time. Namaste.